Hello, my name is Karen Penner and welcome to another very fun tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to take the platform game that we made before and I'm going to show you how to make the guy shoot and I'm going to add a bad guy. The bad guy doesn't do anything, he just dies when he gets shot because I know some people aren't quite sure how to how to do the whole bullet thing and how to make the bad guys die and they have a cool little animation when they die so I'm just going to I'm just going to import that game. Okay, so here we have the game. I just changed the guy. I just added a gun to the front of him. And I... I, um... That's about it. I added a laser sprite. I've also added this bad guy. He just looks just like the main character. He's just blue and he's looking forwards. And I also added an animation of him dying. So yeah. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the object of the laser. Choose the sprite. We're going to add the object the bad guy. We're also going to make the object of the bad guy die. Okay, now first we're going to take the bad, we're going to actually work backwards here because often for things that create like chain reactions like this case where the guy creates a laser, the laser hits the bad guy and the bad guy dies, it's often easier to work backwards so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add an event, create, control, set the variable image underscore speed to point 0.2. That'll just slow down the animation so it looks a bit a bit slower. Actually, I'm not going to do I'm do two. I'm just going to do like save three. Then it'll go a little bit faster. I'm also going to add other animation end. We're going to set the variable image single to image underscore number minus one. And the image number is just how many frames there are and in this case it would be 5 and then subtract 1 from that and then it then it shows this image which is image 4 and so then once the animation is done playing through it'll just stop right at the end for the bad guy I'm going to add an event collision with the laser destroy self create the object bad die relative make sure you check relative for the laser, we're going to add some collision events. Collision with wall, destroy self, and I think that's it. Actually, here for the bad guy, we're going to destroy other as well. So it destroys the laser. And now we're going to go to the guy, and we're going to make him shoot now. Add an event, keyboard space. Actually, we're going to change that to key press space and we're going to do an if statement if image underscore x scale is equal to one now remember x scale is this here when you press right it sets x scale to one and when you press left it sets x scale to negative one which just flips the picture over so now if the picture is facing right we're going to create the object laser speed we'll say 16 here Direction 0 is right, and we're going to do relative for the x and y values. We're also going to add else, so if image scale is equal to 1, if it's not, it will run the following action. We're just going to duplicate this, create the laser. We're just going to set the direction to 180. Now in the room, I don't want to do that, in this room here, we're going to place the bad guys in various positions and we can now run it. There, doesn't that look good? Wow, that's
that's a lot of fun. Um, now what we're going to do is we can just make the animation of the good guy dying. So we're just going to duplicate this. We're going to do guy die. We're going to go image, colorize. We're just going to make it red. So now it's the red guy dying. That was simple. We're going to duplicate the bad guy dying. We're going to say guy die. Change the sprite. Now the guy add an event. Collision with bad. Destroy self. Create guy die relative. So now watch this. Now there will only be one problem is if you jump on top of a bad guy then there will be random feet appearing in the air. Otherwise, you can just go like this. Look, now your guy dies. You could add motion to the bad guys. I'm not going to get into any of that today. But I might one day. And But that's a tutorial for a different day. Anyways, hey, that all rhymed, actually. Day and day. They rhyme. Anyways, this is Cameron Penner. And this has been a great tutorial. It was really short. And that's good because I have to keep all my tutorials under 10 minutes if I want to put them on YouTube. Which is kind of annoying, but also keeps this stuff quick so you guys don't have to listen to me just talking forever. And so yeah, I hope you watch some more of my tutorials. And I'll see you next time.